Hello viewers, my name is Mr. Devanjo. And uh, in our last video, we talked about the uh, definition of sets and uh, how we can name a set and how we can enclose the element of a set in curly brackets. In this video, we are going to be talking about uh, some terms we have in sets. If you have been to police barrack, to police barrack or army barrack, it's called that when two policemen, men are talking or two soldiers are talking, there are some terms they will be using, there are some slogans they will be using that is not revealed to the civilians, that anyone that is not a soldier or policeman will not understand. The same thing we have in a, ta in a set that there are some terms we, we have in a set that we need to understand. And those are the terms we are going to talk about, we are going to be talking about on, in this uh, video. The person we're talking about is called universal sets. Universal sets. Universal set is the modal set from which other subsets emerge. That is when I have a set and that set has some elements and I have, and now I have other sets and the, those other sets that I have, their elements are also in the set I have before, the first set. That means that first set is called the universal set. I have, let's say I have set A and I have set B and C. And uh, that set A stands for the universal set, while B and C are other subsets of universal set. It means that set B and C, its own element, their own element, their elements are also in the set A. That means set A is the universal set of set B and C, set C. You can have on the screen right now, this is the model set from which other subsets emerge. We donate, it denotes, we denote a uh, universal set using U, elongated U, or this Greek, Greek, uh, Greek word, or Greek alphabet you have here, or Greek symbol. So we use U to represent universal set or this symbol. You can see that, uh, let's say this is universal set, all SSCD students of Ifaka Compian Senior High School, that can represent the universal set. Then under Ifaka Universal, uh, other SSCD, all SSCD students uh, of Ifaka Compian Senior High School, we have other subsets under it, that is, we have uh, science students, set A representing all science students, set B representing all art students, and set C represent all social science students. You agree with me that set A and set B and set C, they are all inside universal set of, if I can comment in high school, also, you can see that I agree with me that this set A is inside this set, set B also is in, on, inside this universal set, and set C also is also inside universal set. So universal set is like a model set of all the given set. It's a model set. That is, all that set are contained inside that universal set. I give you universal set you like this now, and I have set A, set B, set C. That means set A, set B, and set C are on, inside. Their, their elements are inside this universal set. That's the meaning of universal set. We always use U to represent universal set or this symbol you're having here. Also, we have null set or empty set. Another term you are going to be talking about under, under this uh, set theory is called null or empty set. That is, a set is empty when the set has no element at all in it. This type of set contains no element, that is, it doesn't have any element at all. And it is denoted by, when you have zero, and you now cross it with a sign, this straight line, or you have two curly brackets and there's no anything inside, there's no element inside. That means that set is what? Empty. In this case, I have set A equals to this symbol. That means set A is what? It's empty set. And I have set B having two curly brackets and there's no element inside it. That means set B is also empty. If you are, you can, this question is very common in a set. You have question, K is equal to, you have this two curly bracket and you have zero inside it. The answer is set K, this set K, is the empty set? The answer is no, because it is not, it, it has one element inside. This zero you're having here is an element. So set K is not empty until you have no element in it at all. That's when K is empty. But so far, it has zero. Zero is an element. So that means that K is not what? It's not empty.